Hey guys, live on the Archie Luxury channel. We're live. Hello, 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 hello. It's a great honor to be hosting this channel here. And um, I got to tell you, the most important thing is whist watches. And uh, I got to say, I want to try and steer away from the politics. I'm in Australia. And I got to tell you, you know, my political leanings, I was originally left wing as a youngster. Then I realized how hopeless the left were and went right. Then I realized how hopeless they were. So I'm a swinging voter. So guys, I want to talk Rolex. Rolex, that's what I want to talk, man. I want to talk Rolex watches because that is where the interest is. It's Rolex. Now, let's post the link. Come on, Cardinals. JJ, Tim Wright. We've got uh, Marco. Lolex! Lolex, please. Lolex, please. Let's get the show underway. We got the bear in the house. The bear in the house. Let's get this baby popping. That's right, guys. Let's get this baby popping. So I would really love to, uh, to talk Rolex with you. Rolex, Rolex, nothing else matters. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. And we've also heard some news in the Paddock Steel Sports game. The Paddock 5711. I think they're going to bring out a slightly revised model. Don't worry. It's not going anywhere. That's right. It's not going anywhere. You'll see... You'll see a new model coming. Just relax. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, guys. Let's get you guys here on the stream. Who's Carlo? I don't know you, Carlo. Who are you? Uh, hi, hi, hi uh, Archie. I'm a big fan of yours. Hey, and, man. That's uh, great. I watch you all the time. Uh, right after work, I, uh, I just go hey. listen to you. Um, watch advice and also not just watch advice, but I correlate my life with you. I get hey, man. That's fantastic. Man, man, the way you think and the way you uh, uh, talk about wives and and uh, monetary issues, you're yeah. spot on. I mean, hey, hey, it's all very hard. Thank you, Carlo. Carlo. And we've also got Tim Wright. Hello, Tim. How are you? Hi, Archie. How's it going? Hey, man. It's great to have you here. Carlos sounds like a good fan there. Yeah. I got to tell you, I do provide life advice. I had that guy before who had problems with his uh, his, his parents who lived with him and the, the wife's sister was asking. It was I sorted that out. Yeah. That's and great. Uh, he's very, very happy there. I got to tell you guys, Rolex. I want to ask you this question. Here we go. We got Jeff. Hello, Jeff. I think he's coming on soon. Hello, Jeff. How are you? G'day, Pontiff. How are you? Hey, I'm fantastic. Question tonight. Are Rolex collectors greedy? Are they greedy? Are they greedy? Jeff, are you greedy? No. I don't consider myself a collector anyway. Hmm. Ah, good quest, good answer. Here we go, Bear Clooney, $2. I like Carlo already. Okay, Carlo, you can stay on the back there. Just, 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 just stay on. Tim, are you greedy? No. No, okay. Um, why don't you consider yourself a collector, Jeff? You've got a beautiful collection. Yeah. I suppose it. You don't have enough. Exactly. I'm not more an enthusiast, there. as far as I can see. Hmm. Mm. You're an enthusiast who has a few, but you must admit, Jeff. Let, let's be totally honest here. 
you've got a collection which is most people will never have. Do you, do you see that or not? Yeah, I understand that. I, 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 yeah, look, I suppose from the outside looking in, but I just I just don't see myself as a collector. I think people that might collect, you know, 10 or 12 watches probably are really collectors. I'm just an enthusiast of adding to, to what I have, you know. But it's anyway, it's just Rude everyone's interpretation. $2. It's Friday Night Live with the Pontiff. Love you, pal. Thank you, Rooted Rota. Jeff, I want to ask you something. Do you think yeah. it's, like, I, I don't want to be rude, but me and you, I think you're in your 50s, Jeff. Yep. That's right. Let's be honest. Where are we going with this? If you haven't been divorced a few times, you should own a home where you've got massive equity in, especially Melbourne. They've had huge price rises. Hey, look. You've basically, people at your age should be a millionaire, shouldn't they? Not that a million buys you much in Melbourne these days, believe you me, it doesn't. But if you haven't had three divorces, you should be comfortable, shouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, life's all right for me. I've done all right. So, um, hello, um, Marco. How I'm, are you? You know, yeah. Very good. How are you, Pontiff? Nice to hey, see you, Jeff. Bad. Like yeah. when you see someone day, Marco. like Marco, do you think Marco would ever have a collection like yours, Jeff? Like I, I don't think he will. I think he will because I think he's starting earlier than what I did. So yeah, but he's only young. I mean, he's got a long way to so go. So much cheaper. When you were younger, they were worth nothing. They weren't even like. Sorry. Even a couple years ago, the whole Rolex. Carlo, have you got any Rolexes? Oh, yes, sir. I'm, I've got a uh, Deep Sea Dweller. Yeah. I've got a Melgos yeah. GV. Yeah. And then uh, I have an Explorer 2 42 mils Blackface. Wow. Cool. Three piece combo? So, yes, sir. And what do you do, Carlo, for a job? Uh, sir, I'm an institutional broker for uh, equities. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. Jeff, I got to tell you, man, seriously, Rolex. Ro Ooh. Here we go. RCO, yep. $25. AC3, I've been daydreaming about being a one-watch guy. Obviously, I'll never do it. But if I did, I think I'd sell everything and get a travel time Aquanaut. What one piece would you go with? I'm going to come to that one minute. Let's do Rooted Rotor. Rooted Rotor, $2. Got on the list for an Ed White. Good buying at retail. Personally, I don't think it's bad buying at all, but I... Yeah, if you can get a retail pawn, I reckon that's pretty good. I don't think I'd want... I, I think it's not Rolex, but remember that it's not Rolex. Okay, now look, one and done. <coughs> RCO, this is an amazing question because I've been there many times. I thought about it. I really thought about how many watches do you need? Like, you get so greedy. I think we are greedy critters. What's going on, guys? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Rolex. We're, Rolex. We're answering a question. RCO oh, no, just no. sent 25 no. bucks. What happened? He said, AC3, I've been daydreaming about being a one-watch guy. Ooh. Obviously, I'll never do it. But if I did, it, I think I'd sell everything and get a travel time Aquanaut. What one piece would you go with? Uh, i got to tell you, this is a very, very interesting question. i got to tell you, RCO, I love that, the Aquanaut. That would be your one bit. watch, though? It'd have to be a Rolex. If I went one piece, if you go yeah. one piece, I think it has to be... Subdate. There's so many options from Rolex, Ponif. I reckon you can take no, Subdate. You've got to... Look, let me GMP tell you this seriously. Master. Look. I think if you're going one and done, you would need a date function on it, firstly. 100%. It's one and done. The only reason you get the no dates is because you've got other watches to wear, and then it stops, and you've got to freak around with setting the date. Well said. Very so well said. it needs said. to be something with a date. Mm -hmm. Then we'll look at metals. I don't think precious metal is going to hold up. And I got to be honest with you, Paddock steel on the rubber. I don't think that's really, 
I don't think that's a long-lasting watch. That's a very delicate watch still. Yes, it is steel. I grant you that. But it's... I honestly would say you would have to get steel or two-tone. I'll, I'll give you four choices for one and done. Subdate. Bluesy or... Actually, when I say bluesy, you could also put there the black two-tone submariner because that's also equally as good root beer root beer and finally as a one and done explorer two explorer one no explorer two needs explorer a date. two you gotta go explore and you gotta go sports yeah. that's fine you got a couple of super chats upon us if you are thank you if you i think the explorer going... two is a great one one watch one and done a black explorer two very cool. Here we go. Mr. Two, eight bucks. Arch, the most amazing thing happened. I discovered I can watch your videos at 1.5 times speed. It's Archie on crack. Never hear David SW so fast. Thank you. And FTF, two pounds 30. Hey, Arch, how to be added on the WhatsApp. Basically, guys, you super chat me $25. Then you email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com. And you email me your phone number. I need your cell phone. You need to be in WhatsApp, and then I can add you to the group. Guys, I want to talk to you now. Something very serious. One and done. This is what I think you'd need. Now, Marco's harping in the back, which i got to be honest with you. I don't like what he's saying. In my view, I'm an old man now. I'm, an old, I'm nearly 50. I'm nearly 50. Okay? It needs to be waterproof, okay? I would say it needs a date, one and done. So it needs to be Rolex, waterproof, with a date. And I think also it needs to be a sports watch. I don't think I could live with a date just only. There, I said it. I said it quick. I don't this think is I the Archie live. I like. Yes. It's got to be sports. It's got to be sports. It's amen, got amen. to be sports, man. They're nice. They're yeah, just are nice, yeah, but you got to get sub, sub date, we go. black or bluesy. Those are the two. One of the two. Say that again. Say that at 10, Lorex. <laughs> Sorry, JJ, say that again. Either the stainless steel, black, or you need a bluesy. Those are the only really two that'll fit. You know? Well, what about a sub date? Yeah, sub date either the steel with the black black or the bluesy. Yeah. You gotta get a sub. The Explorer two, you can never wear it to a formal event. It's it's too casual. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Explorer two is an amazing watch, man. I those are I cool. Gotta, I, I love black dials. Those are cool, but you you're gonna wear one with a suit though. You, you can't do that. You can wear. Look, I tell you this now. You can wear anything with a suit. It's not 1986 anymore, sunshine. <laughs> Rolex. 1986 was over. The dress okay, that watch used to be the rules. You know, any analog watch is now a dress watch. Do you know this? Other, it, you either wear an Apple watch, any analog watch, analog with, with hands, that is a dress watch. I'm sorry, this is the new genre. Mike GMT, $2. Bear son is a, Bear's son is a handsome lad. Yes, better than... Bear's son is lovely. And then we've got... Mr. Two, eight bucks. Another amazing thing happened. Was in the city using public toilet. Ran out of toilet paper. Lucky the watch dealer next door lent me a gondola. Thank you, Mr. Two. Mr. Two, you're going to buy my gondola. I want you to drive in that Mercedes vintage watch co and buy my gondola. That's what I want you to do, man. You will love it. i got to tell you the truth, guys. Ooh, CB. Tell us. Ooh, CB, 25 yes. bucks. One and That's done is loser theory. talk. I managed five in the 90s, but then all hell went went to hell and 40 pieces in counting. Never been happier. <laughs> Actually, I got I, I want to address this question. I got a friend of mine, the super collector. Hmm. 50 watches, 30 plus roll eyes. I don't think he's that happy. I don't think he's that happy. I mean... Yeah, yeah, he's got so many things, but when I say he's not happy, he doesn't love. Mm. It's like it's by like being in a cult where you have seven wives and you have fifty children. Do you really love each of those fifty children? <laughs> There's got to be at least one you hate. There's at least one of them you regret. Correct. 
a lot, a lot, a lot of kids. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. One and done. I think it needs to be. I think this is the criteria. If you're doing one and done, and I, I hate Rolex. Got to tell you this. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Then you know what happened? I sold now them all off, it. and I came back. I hate it. I'm so. It's like men who hate women, but they always can't stay away. They can't stay away from the from the from the honey pot, can they? Yeah, Rolex is like a shitty, they can't shitty go girlfriend. Gay. They they get sick of porn. Keep they coming get back. Sick of, you know, self service and all these things you can buy. They always mm. come back, and that's the same with Rolex. I gotta tell you, man. One and done. It would have to be. It has to be Rolex. Mr. Two, three dollars. I would prefer to pay a little extra and get a Calatrava. Oh, how much extra is that? Well, the Five, one, nine, Calatrava. Twenty thousand Canadian. The only the only reason that gondola is cheap is because I'm an idiot to sell it so low. It is normally right. not. It's normally the same price. It's yeah. It's it's the same price. It's slightly cheaper than it's a five one nine six. I don't know why. Same movement. Two one five. Yep. Let me show you this. Rolex, I tell you what, I think a Rolex one, Jeff, I want you to tell me a Rolex one and done. It can be a watch you own or it can be a watch you don't own. Tell me a Jeff one and done. Yeah. The one you just held up, Arch, that's the one. The sub day? That's it. You reckon that's a great one and done? I reckon. Out if of I had a one watch, and done, what, yep. What would you say? Out of the watches you own, what would you pick? Uh, the one I've got, the no date sub. I don't okay. have a I don't have a stainless Tim. um date sub. Yeah, you know, I'd have the no date. Yeah. Oh, you, well, what about the two tone? Wouldn't you have the two tone black? Isn't that a great one and done? Yeah, I like the two tone black, but I probably have the stainless ahead of the two tone. Tim Wright, what would you have as a one and done? One and done. One and um, done. I think either Explorer Two or the Submariner. Carlo, no. one and done. 12660 deep sea, sir. Uh, it'll survive anything. World War. Yes. <laughs> uh, it will. Uh, uh, Lolex. Yeah. Lolex. One and done. Sorry about that, boss. One and done Rolex. Um, man, that's a toughie. I would say, I don't want to say the boring one, like a sub date, because that's so obvious. But a sub date is the best. How can you beat that? A sub date. Right. It's the perfect watch. JJ. Yeah. One and done. All right, all right. I'll throw a curveball out here. Uh, I'll keep my bad girl. Yep. Beautiful. So for every yeah, day, Marco, like one and done. Every day, you know though. The you, yeah. You know the answer, Pawn. It's got to be the Explorer. Nothing wrong with that. Here we yeah, go. Nothing wrong with that. Two, eight bucks. If it was the same price, 100% people will take Calatrava, hence the toilet paper is still for sale. <laughs> Only inquiries have been from local retirement home. <laughs> you, you know, you almost made your money back in Super Chats for that watch already anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys watch Netflix at all? Yeah, sure. Sure. Hey, Tim, yeah. Tim, did yep. you read that story I sent you the other day, Tim? Oh no, I didn't have the chance because I, I was making video today. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it after the show. Well, if I gotta tell you, if you wanna watch a good series, it's called Bling Empire. Me and my mom. Have been <laughs> you already, would. I've already said. I've already me and my mom have been watching. Archie's already lived that, right? More money than sense. More money than. Did they sense. have anything about watches? I've tried to skip through it because it's so boring. I can't stand it. Is there anything about watches in it? Oh no, there's only one part I think they wear like a they lot of the like ladies have on. date just I see, two tone date just. Yeah, yeah. They wear some nice watches. But it's like show part. It's like jewelry. It's like the jewelry brand, you know? I gotta be honest with you, that is kinda tacky. I don't know how you guys see that. I mean Show part makes great movements though, Pana. The L U C mm -hmm. the L U C range is very good for hot heroic. Show part is toxic. Yeah, but it's toxic. So it's is secondary. toxic, man. That is toxic. That is buy that toxic stuff. Hand. J Wright, five dollars, five pounds. Here we go. Uh, hi Arch, what do you think of the Breitling A one seven three six four? Bring it up, please. Okay, so this here, let me get that number there. It's a Breitling. Seventeen. Just one minute there. I'm still typing Breitling. 
Right. Just one minute. I just I'm a bit slow today. A one seven three six four. Mm. Three six four. So the A that means it's using a non in house movement. That means it's using right. a Adam. Adam. So we got another super chat. Okay, thank you, thank you. So very quickly, let's bring this baby up. Mm. I gotta tell you, this watch here, I've actually owned one of these. Hold on, let's just get these super chats pawn up because okay, there's a couple let's get of the super chats. Let the super chats down. Mr. Two, eight bucks. <laughs> I bought the toilet paper in spirit already via super chats. Arch. You will love Bling Empire when the 80 year old rich lady shows her melon. I actually <laughs> like her. She's gorgeous. Is that the half Russian lady? She's half Russian and Japanese. Yes, yes. And she was knocking out her wardrobe to make it bigger. That's ridiculous. If you can set me up on a date with any of the cast on that show, I will gladly attend. CB, 25 bucks. Nothing gives pleasure like opening a box full of nice watches. Life is short. One and done is depressing. But see, the thing Ooh. is... Okay, let's talk about this Breitling. What do I think of it? I've owned this Breitling. You know what the truth is with it? Talk to Floyd Connor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not bad. It's, it's actually so cheap. It's, it's not that bad. It's incredibly cheap. Yeah, because no one wants it, Pana. It's a great beater. Yes. But yeah, great no every day. It's no Rolex, but great every day, for sure. Yeah. Here. No, what actually, like, like, there's best? worse what things. Color? What color would you... I like the yellow. The yellow. Yeah, a little, little ring. Yeah, a little ring. That's nice. The black. How big is it? What is that, 44? 42? 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44 mil. No, 42, no? Leather oh. strap, not bad. Throw in a nice leather strap. That's not bad. It's got a weird... It's got a really bracelet. funky bracelet. That's all. Yeah, I hate those, those bracelets. Yeah, They're really actually really comfortable. Yeah, it looks terrible. And that font, I mean, to be honest with you, is really ugly. That, that's an ugly font. That. It's like a kid's toy. Yeah, it's modern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Joe. far from modern, but yeah. That is, ugh. Wow. It is kind of, I, I, don't, uh. I guess the problem is it's kind of the bezel timer. I don't think it's kind of useful because it's, it doesn't have a little dot. I want a dot. You know what yeah. I mean? On the, it's not Rolex, Pond. It's not Rolex. I am not going to lie. That is a very ugly looking watch now that you look at it head on. It, yeah. It's a $2,000 watch. It's, it's amazing uh, bang per buck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to buy that. It's incredible anyway. so bang per buck. I don't know if it's that great. Okay, got to be totally yeah. honest with no. you. It's no. not really my cup of tea there. Um, I got to tell you, man. Let's let's go. Let's go and have a look here, because you guys are very keen to see what's happening. I always do a daily check. What's happened to my? I go to Vintage Watch Co. This is in Sydney. Da 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 da. How is my paddock going for sale? And it's still there. That's my gondola. That's the gondola I own. This is mine. Do you understand? I own it. Is that, look, is that not beautiful or what? It's a very pretty watch. They got a new beautiful. strap on it now. What do you think? It looks beautiful. You got a strap uh, on? <laughs> <laughs> we talking the strap ons? Replaced, oh! They replaced, they replaced the, uh, the, look. Arch, can I tell you, can, can I tell you how many views they've had on the website? Well, I check it every day, so they have a few. I check it about five times a day to see if the bastard has sold. Oh, you're pumping up the views. That's good. Look, it's it's. I don't know why it hasn't sold. I have no idea. It's a Wimpe. It came from Wimpe. You know, that's where Wimpe is one of the top dealers in Europe. It came from Wimpe. Why doesn't it sell? You know why? You know why? It's not it. Rolex. We want new. Rolex Steel Sports. We got a super chat. Hump on. Sorry. From Mr. Chat? Two and Mike GMT. Ooh, look at that super chat from Mr. Two. Here we go. Marco, do you have Russian Japanese rich mother? No, he doesn't. I'm seeing, a, sensing a resemblance. Jeff reminds me of my one-year-old nephew, nephew who's been a good boy. Jeff is Always very, a good. Very, Always man. good. Thanks, Arch. And we've oh, got yeah. Mike GMT two dollars. NY Beta is a one seven three six five. Whatever that number is, a great watch. That's some sort of uh, breathling. 
guys. I want to ask you something. Would you ever consider, instead of instead of being Rolex crazy, what about if you had a Submariner, a Tudor Black Bay, a Tudor, a Breitling Diver, something like that Super Ocean we've had, maybe a an Amiga Seamart, just a collection of divers. Would that be wrong? Look yes. at Marco's face. Is that wrong? Yes. M may I comment, sir? I mean, oh. Carlo, you don't have to be so formal. You don't have to be so formal, man. <laughs> oh, that, it's weird calling, hearing you say, sir. Uh, I, I just want to, you know, respect everyone. Oh, good. Oh, good. Go ahead, Carlo. Go ahead. I think having uh, all divers is a sign of being an enthusiast. And uh, it's mm -hmm. um, loving the style of watch and that's not yeah. nothing wrong with that yeah i i kind of think he's on a roll pana look another CB, super chat look man. at this man cb wow. 25 bucks drop and change bucks, CB. <laughs> ac3 keep the gondola and sell a calatrava it's a beautiful classic you know what Ooh, no 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 <laughs> no don't do that pana. come on wow how long would you wait before i say right i want it back I, that's what i'm looking at doing End of February. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. early March. Can you please hold yeah. me to that? Because I feel like sending a text saying, hey, Ronnie, just send it back up <laughs> take it back. No, no. Don't, wait, wait. Oh, Don't rush. Would, would a Z Blue be so boring or not? Not at all. What's, no. what's boring about Z Blue? It's got that beautiful lightning hand, funky color. It's probably the most exciting Polish Rolex cent in the center links, yeah. In the lineup. You know what? what about instead of getting a Z Blue? What about if I got a Explorer Two? Ooh. Now you're cooking probably, with gas, probably player. Black. Probably black. Get the Pepsi. Two Connor. Get the Pepsi. No, the problem with the Pepsi is the Pepsi may not come. You have so to get I'll something get in between. This. Yeah. I I I'm just so enthused by Tim being so keen on the Explorer. You love your Explorer Two. They're cool. I love it. I love it. It's, it's fantastic. I, I think the black uh, pontiff. I got another polar like dial watch, by the way. Hold on. What were you saying, Carlo? Um, um, if it were the black dial, 42 mils, I think it will look more proportional due to the larger I love size. The black. You know what? The black, I think in the 40 mil, I think the white is better. But I think in the 42... They're both gorgeous, okay? They're I both agree. gorgeous. You get whatever you can. Mm. I like the black because it's got the orange hand of the original. Here we go. Except it's Steve McQueen, Pontiff. Steve McQueen. But did he ever wear one? That's the mm. other question. Did he? Yeah, yeah I, I never understood that. Panel, think of the new Zen of Chrono Sport with ceramic bezel. That's right. Bring it up. Black bezel. Or white. Yes, it A little bit. Like, this is... i got to be honest with you. They are... When yeah, what do you think, Arch? I would love to hear what you think about I'll be honest with you, it pisses me off because they're not yeah. original. <laughs> I, I think it's cheap. I think yeah. it's cheap that they they just slap Let's the bezel see. on it. Yeah. Why they they're so much better than just copying they are yeah. so much better than copying Rolex. You so know what I mean? That, that's the whole Zenith? How close that is. So would you get that new Zenith Chrono or a Speedy? Which one would you get? Definitely. Speedy. I wouldn't buy new. Speedy. I don't buy new. Zenith buying new is very, very stupid. Okay? We got a couple Let's more super chats. Yeah. Starting with showcase yeah. watches. Showcase watches, two dollars. Okay, I agree. Mm. The one two six six one zero LN is pretty good. Showcase watches. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. It is, it is a gorgeous watch. Mr. Two, eight bucks. The wise and correct thing so, to do is flush the toilet paper. Hence, Arch will get it back and tell us how hard things are. Hashtag, how I became <laughs> homeless. And Defrenzenator, three bucks. Is the Vostok Amphibium the Russian Rolex? What do you think of Russian watches, Tim? Vostok. The garbage. The garbage. The, the garbage. Absolutely. <laughs> What's Shut that up. other brand? Chapek or whatever it's called? Is Chapek or something like that? Mm, something yeah, that like was that. kind of the, 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 the roots go back to when Paddock was originally, but they're nothing like oh, yeah. Paddock. They're, they're but they're still, they're still not a bad watch, Connor. 
Like they make so, nice watches, but I wouldn't buy them. Look, by the way, I think. What do you think of this Zenith? You know what I just thought of? You know how uh, Daytona's had Zenith movement in them? Yeah. So this is kind of ironic that uh, now we basically we got a Zenith Daytona again. <laughs> in a way, right? Yes, it is. It's very iconic. Yeah. Um, I gotta be honest with it's you. It's not I'm ugly. Disappointed. I'm disappointed they're not original, but. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Is it original or what? What do you think? No. Tell me what you think. Complete copycat. We got a super chat, mm. Punk. What's that noise? Is that me? Who's eating potato oh. chips? Yeah, what is that noise? Jeff. I think it's low I don't think it's me. Got the call Sounds like the you. AD for How the dare you? Adding it to my collection, <laughs> which includes the black dial. Just pointing Beautiful. fingers, Tim. What do you think of that? Would you add blue to a black? Yes, I think it's quite okay. Sure, why not? You can always get your money back. You'll always get your money back. Doesn't matter. Mm. We got Mr. another one. Two. Yeah, I don't think it's me, guys, because I'm hearing it. Mr. Two, eight bucks. Who the fight comes on a live stream and eats chips directly into the microphone? Step <laughs> off and join the lawyer. Who is that? Check this out. Hello, Hello Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Is you bought that for it's the a... wife? No, no, I got it for the channel. It's a reference HK five zero two four AZ. Obviously, box and papers, guys. That looks like it's a pan. beautiful polar dial, like pan applied pan. indices. You know, very nice petroleum, fake leather strap. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's actually look at a cool that. watch, man. You gotta make it cool. Yeah. It's sure. Better. Yeah. It is. How much was it? Look at that. Fifteen bucks. 15 bucks, look at that. Yeah. I'm with you. Something to go along with my oh, panda. What is Carlos. It? It's Carlos, man. Carlos. Carlos, he can't be eating on the stream, man. Not so close to your microphone. Is it Carlos? God He's full on eating. <laughs> hey. Don't worry, Carlos. We'll, we'll see you next time on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. He's a lovely guy. It was good to have him. What do you think, panel? Yes or nay? Yes or nay? Is he a panel? See, I gotta tell you guys, the guys I've got here on the panel, Tim Wright. Yes. I gotta tell you, my crew, I gotta tell you, Marco, I gotta give him a star. He's always yep. tells me the super chats. He's, 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 yeah. he's, he's, we got a super chat from Mr. Two, Pana. Mr. Two, boot Carlos. Hashtag learn to mute your mic. Yeah, I've taken three <laughs> calls during this <laughs> during this stream. I've muted each time. Yeah, exactly. So I, I gotta say, I think Marco is is a s s rock, bedrock member. Bedrock. Tim Wright, I couldn't do the show without you. Your zany really? personality. Wow. That, Tim, he's just like senior. Right. I gotta you're tell you. You're kind of the Clyde. You're, you're kind of the the Clivers without the arsehole. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Oh wow! You know, yeah. um, <laughs> on a, let's be real. You just like seeing Tim's wife on occasion. Let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolex, Rolex, oh Rolex. You got to be careful with. He's a bit sensitive, but he's kind of like a drummer in a band. You know what I mean? Oh wow! You, you I was expecting I mean? nothing less. I was expecting you don't nothing want to piss him right off. Now. He's a bit egotistical, but he's good value. He's still good value. You need that bass beat. And I've got Jeff a good year, just, few years in me. Jeff is just the Petromark. You know, he comes in occasionally. Just watching. <laughs> just watching. You got, look at this. We've got a new room. He's, he's been promoted yeah. at Rolex. What's Ooh. that? Je new? Jeff is our manager. We're a band. No, and Jeff no, is our manager. Like it's <laughs> kind of like the, the Phil Spector of the channel. And Archie's the lead singer. He's the Mick Jagger. Yeah. He's doing high kicks. I gotta tell you guys, seriously, what did you think of Carlos? Yes, no, maybe. Tell me. Maybe. I thought he was okay. the Dos Equis man. In middle of the pack, Pontiff. Not the best, not the worst we've seen. I must admit, that guy, you know, who was from Melbourne, he was a bit weird, wasn't he? You know, that young guy. Oh, my goodness. What's his name? Malcolm. Oh, right? yeah. And, and I think Drew, we can handle Drew in small doses. Mm -hmm. Not big doses. Do any of you guys watch Netflix? Yeah, what do you watch? Yep. What are you watching right now, Arch? Actually, I'll tell you what I'm watching, right? I don't know if I should say this, but 
Uh -oh. Do you want me to tell you what I'm watching at the moment? Might yes. as well. Yeah. Okay, so th this is an older series. It's called My Husband Won't Fit. <laughs> My Husband Won't Fit. What the? Yeah, there you go. My Husband Won't Fit. It's a Japanese drama. I think I'm going to write that drama. down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this my husband won't fit, problem. and it's it's hilarious. I find it hilarious, right? It's got everything you could. It is, but the title is far better than actually the content. Wait, is it? Is it? I've never seen it, but is it kind of like my thousand pound life? No, no, it's Japanese. It's completely. You would never. Uh, you gotta please. My husband <laughs> won't fit. I'm just leave it at that. Come back tomorrow and give me a review. It's actually... I don't know what it is. I don't know why every Japanese series or drama has sexual dysfunction in it. <laughs> we got another and that's why you're show. watching it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that sort of stuff. You know, I like to watch this stuff. You know... It's, uh, here we go. We got a super chat. Here we go. Super chat. Super chat. Here we go. Mike, yeah. Okay, we got the boot, Carlos. That was done. Mm. No, we got Chip Wong. Two dollars. Should I get three identical yeah. dogs? You know what? I got to tell you the honest wow. truth, guys. Don't be upset, but I really hate dogs. Because but why? I, I don't want dogs <laughs> inside the house. No, I agree with that. I don't I like don't dogs want in the house. Dogs in the car. Not in the bed are. either. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. disgusting, right? That's gross. I think it's disgusting. It I think dog if you had a bed. big property in the country, dogs are okay, but not inside the house or the apartment. And what it, I find is, I've been around the traps looking for some milk. Desperate <laughs> women all have these stupid little dogs. Expensive, stupid little dogs. The dogs okay. wouldn't like the carpet beetles. My grandma has a dog, and uh, this dog, he, he always chews on people's pants. He ruined, like, oh, my God. Like, every time I go there, I have to make sure that I'm wearing something that's already being chewed. I'm looking at what's over room, actually. Never mind. Look at this, okay, Pono. That was my name. Look at that. Oh, come on. Look at that face, Pono. Yeah, I hate dogs. You know that? What is wrong with you? You're mad. Well, it's just so difficult. Look, at least with cats, they just want a, a, a bit of a, a, a scratch on the head, then they piss off, yeah. you know? <laughs> Dogs. <It'll... laughs> You're like a cat, Arch. Scratch on the head. And Box and papers, guys. <laughs> Box and papers. <laughs> I even Chip, have the hey, outer Carlos sleeve. Carlos is a lawyer fan, by the way. The noises aren't an accident. Hashtag ban. Uh. <laughs> And is that it? Are we up to no, date, Marco? No, we're not. Mike, GMT, $2. Marco is the guy who gets pizza for the band. <laughs> That's a good one. And I definitely yeah. wrangle the chicks. I'm that guy. Yeah. And Chip Wong. One more from Chip Wong. Oh, Chip Wong. Chip Wong. It hasn't come through. Oh, here we go. Chip Wong, $2. Day Deng is calling for unity. Make peace with the lawyer. Biden. Hmm? Oh, uh, I think Biden is calling for make peace with the lawyer. Oh, we got think. these cats coming in fast and furious. J Wright, Pong. Yeah, fast and furious. J Wright, here we go. Five bucks, five bucks, five pounds. How about a mini quiz that you AC3 heads? It might be a bit of fun. I have some general questions, general knowledge, and then specialist rounds. Wow. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Let's we'll try it. The crew. Mm. That'd be good. <laughs> Showcase, five pounds. To be a Pontiff's Cardinal, you must have a Rolex. Actually, I've got to say this honestly. Showcase is also a true member. He's, he's, um, it's a bit late he, mm -hmm. he's in the UK, but you're welcome on any time. I love you on Showcase. He's got a nice, I like his accent. Okay, school. I like his, his school. New rule, Marco is practically an owner, so he's okay. Who doesn't have one yet? Rule number one. Good rule. Mm. Yeah, I think Rolex, i got to be honest with you, I hate Rolex, but you know what I mean? I really hate the way... Love the watchers, hate the brand, on. I hate the brand. What they're doing with the supply... Bear Clooney watches 
Lolex is very sensitive Californian, like most like most likely to go rogue. Arch, be very patient and tender with him. Love dogs and hate dog trainer. Bear clearly Ooh. has it out for me. He very mm. clearly has it out for me. Yeah. I gotta tell you seriously. Um, I gotta tell you this. Rolex itself, I think Rolex should be saying to their dealers, right, you need to get young customers in. Mm -hmm. Under 40, who wants to steal sports and help nurture good relationships? But they don't. They give all the stuff to the VIP. They want to give all the stuff to the VIPs who are flipping a lot. It it just kind of makes me sad. I I I got to tell you, I think it's very very disappointing with how things are handled. I wish they would let youngins come in get a watch to grow the brand instead anything anything difficult you know a friend of mine in sydney he went to the rolex ad they had three watches for sale two mm -hmm. ladies they just and something in solid gold you know mm. What do you do? There's nothing. Of, you understand? There is absolutely nothing. It is so bad. Demand's hmm. increasing. What do you think it is, Jeff? I mean, we're. I don't know about I don't know. you, but I think Australia is headed for a, a bit of. It's a, getting tighter here. I think the what's the, the vibes, Jeff? Got less you're in the real estate industry. What is the vibes with the agents? Or they or they just racing out and getting new three series? We got another super chat. Do the oh, we do. Rory, Rory Mullins, AC3. A year ago, I asked for advice on a Diet Pepsi, a Black Bay Chrono, or a Polar Explorer 2 for a big birthday. Cheers today, a year later, with my 216570. That's the Polar 42 mil from David SW. Well done. Good What's one. the vibe, Jeff? What's the vibe from agents you, you talk to? What's the vibe? Well, the property market here is doing all right. It's just driven by a shortage of supply and good demand, and money's cheap, so people are out buying. And I think that's the case with Rolex and other luxury goods. I think people are spending their money, but they limited supply, and that's going to well, continue this so year. Cheap, like on a home yeah. loan or investment property. Yep, exactly right. So you know, even the new new cars are really picked up again. So people are spending on cars as well. So. Would you buy a new car or you're happy just to keep yours? I don't. No, mine's fine. I, it's only just run in, really, and I, I hardly drive. So. What did you think of those guys in Sydney with the the uh, 63S who oh. blew up in flames? Yeah, exactly. Stupid. Because it's not meant to be doing burnouts. It's got computers and things to stop yeah. that happening. That's right. That's, that's right. That's the sort of car it is. You know this, don't you? But I reckon in the watch market this year, you watch the second-hand market, the grey market, the prices will be going up uh, because the demand's not slowing up and the supply's still restricted. So it's going to push the second-hand market. So those day Daytonas will go up, all the good watches will go up. So Why are paddocks my going view. up? Tell me that. Why is paddock, that which is great, they don't oh, address I, watches? Yeah, I just don't think there's, the demand's not as strong. So um, people want sports. They want uh, they want the brand. The Rolex spend a hundred million a year on marketing, so it's working. But you yeah. can't buy anything from an AD now, you know. No, I know, I know. It's ridiculous. Wait list. Do you believe this wait list lies or not? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's certain people that jump the queue a bit. I don't know about that. I'm not the proof, but it seems that way. You seem to have um, done pretty well. Yeah, but I reckon it, it, two years ago it was a lot better than what it is now. I think it's even got worse. So, oh, no, I know. I agree. It's very, very worse. Yeah. Very and I really worse. haven't... I, I mean, I got my um, Batgirl just on 12 months ago, but prior to that was the other four watches, and I think the market was different then. So... And Australia oh, seems sorry. to get a lot, a lot less supply. Super chat? A lot less supply, you reckon? 
I reckon less supply in Australia. Than America, than, than per, 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 per population. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think there's a bit of that. Rory Cullens, is that the one man? No, we've done that. Mr. Two, eight bucks. My seven series got blocked in a car park, both sides by some assholes. Mm. Open the door to get in. Use the remote to self drive it out. Happy uh, day. Smart. smart. Amazing. Wow. They thought they were smart and you were smarter. Mm. We've got Stephen mm. Cordero. <coughs> Thank you. Stephen Cordero. $2. A wise man said, my, me my enemy's enemy is my friend. Definitely. Definitely. How bad do you think it'll get, Jeff? I mean, the Rolex situation is diabolical. How bad will it get worse? Like what? What do you mean? I don't know. I mean, how, bad, how much worse can it get for, for people here that have to wait years to get a, a watch? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but they're not... They're not selling it to you. They want it's people who buy garbage. How much garbage do you need to buy to get something good? Yeah, well, that's true. Would, do you think it's worth buying garbage? No, I won't buy garbage. Garbage is always garbage. Mm. By the way, guys, I want to show you something. Okay, I want to show you something. Let's see it. Let's see I it. want to show you something. Speaking, just hang on, just get this up. Just give me a minute, guys. I'm just calling it up now. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> you want to see some pontiff's garbage? <laughs> pontiff's garbage? Okay, so, so have a look at this. Uh -oh. um, okay, okay, here we go. Da -da -da -da. Let's have a look. Da 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 da, pontiffs, cast offs. You Still there. This one before. You know how many inquiries they've had on this watch? <clears throat> the big Roy Orbison. Three. Zero. Zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Mr. Two. Hey, look at it. It, is, it. it is an amazing watch. <clears throat> is that I buckle, is it adjustable? <clears throat> Yes, it is. Just hang on. Wow. Here we go. Mr. Two, three dollars. I paid market for my Pepsi and Hulk. Hashtag I am fight. Well, no. they're going up, but what he paid, it, they've gone up a lot since you bought those, Mr. Two. And they'll keep going yeah. up. They. Those are going to be seventy thousand dollar watches. I want to ask you guys something, okay? Hmm. Do you think I know the owner who owns this JJ LeCou? Should I offer him my gondola as a swap with some money coming my way? Hmm, interesting. 3000 plus mm -hmm. the the Polaris for my gondola. Yes or no? Yeah. I mean, that would be a good trade on your end for sure. Yep. Yeah, I yep. agree. You wait. You I would do it, it if you had to keep it. Mm. Okay. That's a smart move. You should. You should do that mm. for sure. Do you think the Polaris is a good watch or what? It's got no inquiries. It's dead. It's toxic, man. I think the Patek is more sellable mm. than this. It's oh, more yeah, sellable, definitely. but the Yeg. That's a nice. I mean, that's a nice watch. You'd have to resign yourself to sort of keeping it for a while. I think, Arch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The question then becomes, no. do you want the panda after this? Don't get that garbage pawn of Super Chat. I like Super it. Chat. Here we I go. like Here it. Here we go. Chip Wong, Chip Wong, $2. Rank the, your following enemy. <laughs> TGV, Clivers, and the IRS. <laughs> wow. Oh, I have to say. Well, see, the IRS is in America, so that doesn't apply to me. Okay, We got, eight, we got the ATO, right? And okay. they're good friends. They're, 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 look, I mean, look, you've got to pay your taxes, otherwise you don't have schools and roads, right? Exactly. I'd say, I'd say, TGV is public enemy one, and Clivers is number two. No <laughs> man. Because <laughs> Clivers, Clivers, I think, 
I could swing him back. If I really wanted him back, I would. But Bear Clooney said, nah, keep him out. He's gone. So I'm happy to go with the new team. This is the B team. The A team has gone. We've got the B team. Mr. Two. And I love this team we got. I love this team. I don't think the dynamics... So sometimes I throw people off when mm -hmm. we're having a chat. Because the dynamics are just so good of the guys we've got here. You know, I don't know. So One of you guys won't last. Oh, yeah. Speaking of lasting, where's JJ gone? He's fell off. Yeah, thanks. He I was going to say, thanks, dude. <laughs> we love you. We love you, Lolex. We don't want you to go. It's part of the... Yeah. It's part of the... That's true. In, you wouldn't be a good band go, without a drummer. Three dollars, do it, arts. Trade your runny diarrhea for a solid stool. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go, AMG, one dollar, and Bud the Stud, Bud the Stud. Good evening, punters. It's Friday night live. Paul, oh, can I be honest? With you? Yes. I think rank your following three enemies. It should be TGV, Clivers, and Queensland Rail, Paul. Mm. Mm. Ooh, those are some hitters. Guys. Tell Can me it, this. What do you think of the Polaris? Is it a great watch or would you do it or not? What do you think? Because the other option oh. is <clears throat> I'm right. holding out to sell the gondola to get a Milgaus and money. Mm. I'd wait a month at least before we I mean, make that a decision. Polaris. It's probably a really high quality watch, you know? Dial work. It is movement it is it's layered dial. hey fellas i, I gotta bounce yeah. but uh i'll talk to you guys later Lolex, we love, hey, you. Lolex. Love, Hi, Lolex. You love you guys mike gmt two dollars please give marco a pay rise thank you thank you <laughs> what do you reckon do you would you do it or not I, I don't know see the thing is if i got the polaris you'd never sell it would you it, it's gonna be yeah it's a hard watch, but it's a beautiful two reg chrono. What do you think? I think it's a pretty cool watch. Could make for some great content as well, you know. I reckon that's Plan B. It's Plan A is to get rid of the the uh, gondola, and you won't know until early March. And if if that Polaris is still available, well, consider it then. Consider doing that then. I'm very well, I mean, impatient. You know call I mean? the guy, ask him if he wants to do it. Uh, if he doesn't want to do it, then there's no point of even contemplating. True. If he says no, then you'll know, okay. You know? I don't know if I want to do it. I think you should ask. And then say, you can, you can always say, ah, I changed my mind. <laughs> I guess. But uh, you should ask. AMG, eight bucks. Objective thoughts from the panel. Speedmaster Profession, Seamaster Professional, da da da. Bring it on. Please turn up your audio, Arch. Okay. So now I need to get this number. See, this number is so annoying. Oh my God. That. Did you see how long that number is? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. So, so what is it? It's an Omega. Give me the number. 210. 210. Dot 32. 32. Dot That's the great white. Four. Four two. Yeah. Dot two zero. Dot yeah. oh four dot zero zero one. That's the great white. Man, that is so annoying, you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Their numbers are just ridiculous. Um Oh, that's the Bark and Jack special pawn. Yeah, I <laughs> I actually quite like I quite like it in the polar. What, what? do you reckon? Yeah, it's probably the nicest one. They're yeah. cheap, aren't they? Yeah, they're not. Yeah. Well, they've been rising actually in prices. Surprisingly. I just can't deal with it's the horn on the rubber. side. Yeah. yeah, that's a weird one. That's, that's kind of a, a Seamaster trade. It's an Omega thing, know? isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind it. But the stud, yep. $2. Can I get a Polaris? You please use lube as well. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Jay Wright, two dollars. Play the newbies, Clive, roasting vid two years ago. Paul, if I got to say, if I was gonna get any Seamaster, it'd probably be this one or the Blue Dial. But I'd get it on, yeah, actually, I'd get it on rubber, and I'd get an aftermarket, maybe a Milanese bracelet. 
Steve. The rubber is good enough. The Milanese, it never came on a Milanese. It's not original. Yeah, yeah but it'll be $2. like... $2. Steve Cordero, get a 50 Fathoms. Blank Tains is pretty... No, 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 no. I think... Yeah. 50 Fathoms. Just get Ooh. a sub Ooh. Marina. Get the sub Was it for Marina. Russians? 43 millimeters, Ponif. It's like a freaking... It's like a spaceship on your wrist. It's like those MBNF watches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Level nine, 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 five, five euro. My dad bought a two, five, six, five, four A AP four years ago for eighteen thousand. It's now worth more than his Porsche nine six four Carrera Targa Carrera two. Should he keep or sell? Hold on, I'm keep. Sure it up for you, I don't even know what this one is. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it it's up. an annual give me calendar. The number. Marco, give me the. It's an AP. What is the number? Two. Two five six five. Two five six five. Four. B A. Annual calendar. Oh my God! If he sells it, he'll never get it again. A perpetual, not an annual calendar. I mean, crazy. Expensive to service. You know that these are very, very dear to service. Yes. You know that. Um. I mean, you could always flip it and get maybe one or two watches that are a bit more usable, you know? Uh, that's a really cool family heirloom. Mm. So mm. cool. Wow. It's very cool. It's a very cool watch. Unbelievable. Uh, no, look, I, I got to be honest. It depends if you... Look, should he keep or sell? What do you, It depends. Sell for what? Does he need the money? If he needs the yeah. money, you know, it, it, when, when you say sell, sell just to cash out yeah but some people upon a farm willing to wear a porsche carrera on their wrists either you know or they're a bit afraid to a 964 what's what vintage is that no idea Nine six four for to whatever that means. who knows i'll call it up porsche nine six four nine six four target for two nine six four Okay, let's have a look at this thing. I'll see what the. Oh, it's a very, it's, I think it's one of the. An old one. The air cooled. Air cooled. Mm. Yeah, we got it is, it is cool. It is cool. Very cool. It's Depends on really... what, what nick the Porsche is in. If it's in good nick, keep it. Wow. It is. Right, two things. We got another super chat, and JJ wants the link if possible in the chat. Oh, sorry. Sorry. JJ wants the link. Here we go. Link. In there now, and Mr. Two, eight bucks. Arts, right, please strap a camera to your head and do a daily in the life video. I want to see the amazing activities you accomplish each day. Well, <laughs> not much. <laughs> I used to like these Porsches. These are a 90s Porsche, early 90s Porsche. I actually, yeah, I, I kind of I like them. JJ, how are you? Good. Sorry, I got booted before. I had to handle some business. Now, what's happening, man? What's happening? Uh, not that much. I just uh, went to see my chiropractor. I had to get fixed up a little bit. What did he say is wrong? No, nothing. He just uh, did a routine adjustment. Hey, he has a beautiful mm -hmm. Zenith Daytona, too. Wow. JJ, all of that lingo just sounds like code for some... Mafia stuff. <laughs> you know? See I'm, a, chiro a chiropractor. We had to fix stuff. It's an adjustment. What are you about? That's yeah, the, adjust. That's, we that's had to practice. adjust someone. Oh. <laughs> okay, Mr. Two, eight bucks. First I'm just kidding. <laughs> from between toes. Second hour blocking toilets. Third hour sniffing random objects. Fourth uh -oh. hour yellowing rolex and we've got our good friend drew what are you doing drew he's driving what's up what's up Potter? i'm in the m5 in the m10? Man. yeah that noise is Wait, hold on. listen listen to this ready yeah i'll give you a little <laughs> yolo moment <laughs> We don't condone speeding. <laughs> <laughs> we do not condone speeding. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I gotta tell you guys. I gotta tell you. I gotta. You might have had a car accident there. Hey. Hey, JJ. I got. I got a dilemma for you, JJ. Sure. What do we got? Okay. You know my gondola I've got that hasn't sold. I can swap right. that to get the Polaris plus 4,000 Aussie dollars. 3,000 US. Cool. Uh, hmm. But you'd be selling your gondola for less than what it's worth, what, less than what it's listed right now. Yes. Right. I thought you said it was underpriced already. Yeah, but you're getting the, you're getting the Polaris on the, on the value as well, no? He's okay. He's surviving. no. Be, no well, he's it'd, alive. It'd be twelve thousand for the Polaris. So Australia, nice. Plus four thousand cash. That's six thousand. That's what his gondola is listening for. Yeah, I, I probably want to do it. To be honest with you, I probably yeah, want to do it. Five six thousand cash at least, pawn it. Right. Because I reckon the Polaris is harder to move than the gondola. Right. Yeah. If he if he gave you about five or six thousand, I would do it. Oh my God, What's Drew, up, be careful. We got Jan Wicken. What's that? No, I was coming home. I was coming back to the gym. Ah, no worries. Here we go, Jan Wicken. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, go. Super chat. Jan Win Nikki, two dollars. Arch, what are your thoughts about Nomos? I really dislike him. I don't. I think they're quality. I don't think it's a waste. Look, I don't mind buying a cheap Brightling or a cheap Amiga. Paul, if you made a classic RT Explode on Nova, it's a couple of years. is kind of, it's like a, it's just a, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me, okay? I saw a guy at the AD trying to buy one, and I thought, maybe I should intervene. But then I thought, okay, wait a minute, like, I should... You should stay out of it. Let the guy, you know, let him do his own thing. Felt bad for him, though. He looked really like a hipster guy, so. Hey, hey fellas. Hey, fellas. L listen to this. Listen to this. Yes. Wow. That's amazing, Any damage, Drew. It's expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah it does catch on fire like that video we posted in the WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Is Lolex on? Uh, no, 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 he left. Oh, he, oh, he left. left? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Por Mr. Porsche. Yeah, what? Hold on, hold on. Man. All right, Drew, it's been fun. Drew, it's been a good time, man. We love you. Thanks, man. Love Come you, back to your home. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okey Here we go. NATO. NATO. Eight bucks. Gondola, what the fuck is wrong with you? You've got more chance of a critically acclaimed Archie luxury to last part two than selling that shader. Now, Arch, how, how does the deal work out for you as far as, like, if you would have did the original deal, right, as compared to now, are you winning or losing? We got one more super chat, Tom, of Steven Cordero. Uh, it's kind of like a sideways trade. So it would be like the original trade? You would you would make out the same way? Yeah. Ponif, he's giving you he's, – he's making you pay full price – for a watch he can't sell that has gone zero inquiries. Well, I can't sell my gondola either. But it's only been up one week, Pawn, if you can't compare. Ah, a couple weeks. Okay, a couple weeks. But you're not getting full price is the problem. He's getting full price, but you're not. Yeah, he's only, Pawn, if you got to ask for at least five, 6,000 Aussie, there's no way. Right. Like, it's got to be like 10 for the Polaris. That's what it sells on Chrono 24, let's be honest. It sells 10 all day. 
and it's six thousand Canadian. Yeah. It's it's ten Canadian. I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, but ten Canadian is basically ten Aussie. It's the same difference, Connor. You can haggle. Come on, let's be honest. This thing doesn't sell all day. Steve Cordaro, two dollars. Keep Drew on. This could get crazy. <laughs> And then um, there might be some legal liabilities. Chris, knock 55 day in Archie's life. Wake up, scoop some ice cream, yell, it's garbage, into the camera, sniff the sub, <laughs> eat more, unblock toilet using the gondola. <laughs> well, wait, see, guys, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated it hasn't sold. Why hasn't the gondola sold? Did, hold your horses, just wait. For the, for the same reason that, the for the same reason the polaris hasn't sold neither of them are rolex yeah. see the way to sell a gondola is to do some type okay. of a trick like the guy who sold it to you Rolex, you know? please. back boys i heard i heard drew popping off in his beamer i had to jump on yes. oh yeah yes dude he sounded like that thing was about to bust open <laughs> was he yeah. gassing the hell out of it Nearly mm. the red line. Yeah. Oh my god. Beautiful car, that, that Beamer. What is it again? I don't even remember what M model it was. M5. An M5? Yeah. Wasn't it like an 85 or something like that? From the 85? No, no, no. He like paid... Early 2000s. Early 2000s? It's oh, that's not the one he paid 2300 for with the rust? No, that was the E30. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so funny just hearing him like cast say hey Archie listen to this <laughs> he's just fucking gunning it <laughs> so stupid so guys cool. I gotta tell you Lolex what do you think man should I do What's this going on? on the gondola for the Polaris if you actually keep it cause I actually like that Polaris a lot and I think that's a good that'd be a good move you're uh, having a Polaris and then having the Submariner especially with that blue dial mm. I think it'd be pretty nice do you like it better it's than the, the reverse? Pana, don't forget that marijuana is legal in California, okay, Pana? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you liked it though, Archie. Did you like it? Remember the deal I offered the guy? I offered the de the guy a deal. Hmm. He was going to give me the Polaris plus ten. Okay, the Polaris plus ten thousand dollars, right? Right. <laughs> Um, now he'd give me. Yeah, like what would you get? I, what would you I, get I, on that deal? It's, it's like getting the Polaris plus seven. So the Polaris plus eleven. That's what it's like getting. We got another super chat. Jay Wright, two pounds. <laughs> Raffle the gon. It's actually a gondolo. Gondolo off. I don't know. You're, you need to get a. It's not quite that easy in Australia to run a raffle. You need to actually get state mm. approval, and Fine. if you don't do it right, they can come up. Believe you me, that's a can of worms. Nanny state. Me. Nanny state. Nanny state. Nanny state. No, because yeah. otherwise people would run fake raffles. That's that's the whole reason. Of You've got to be mm. very careful. I, I don't want to get involved in running raffles and. So Arch, if if you were if you had to keep one, watch yes. the gondola. Or the Polaris. Which one would you want to keep? Keep the Rolex, Jeff. Come on, man. Oh Rolex. yeah, I know. But you won't be happy with <laughs> out of those two. I, I think probably. No, out of those just, two. Just, I think. I think I just. You know what? I think I might do. Just keep my gondola. Although, if it doesn't sell, bring it back at the end of them. Oh, I got, I got another month. A, a month, five weeks. Just give it five weeks. Yep. Agreed. And we got another guy here, Burbing Hard. Who are you, Burbing Hard? How you doing, Arch? Just a big fan. Hey, man, that's fantastic. Where are you from? Uh, from uh, Seattle. Northwest, uh, Seattle, United beautiful. States. Seattle, beautiful. Rolexes, what Rolexes do you have there? Uh, only Rolex is the 114060, just a no-date. No-date sub, sir. Very yeah. nice. Anything else? What other watches have you got? Other interesting watches? Um, uh, Tudor, Black Bay 58. Ooh, Tudor, Black Bay, Bay. yeah. <laughs> On a, yeah, and it's on it's on an aftermarket jubilee. But don't uh, don't kill yeah. me, Arch. No, no, we've okay. been discussing that the past few streams actually. You mind pulling yeah. that up for us? Yeah, show us that yeah. again. I reckon it's not as You're bad not as we thought. You're not a Satanist, are you? With all those skulls in the background there, you're not a Satanist, <laughs> are you? No, it's a 
that's we're kind of big uh, region for uh, hunting. So I, I do do a lot of hunting with uh, with the kids. Good man, good man, good man. You were and then uh, yeah, in a very uh, I I don't know that I'd say Republican. Got and guns, I'm, baby. Got I'm, guns. I'm I'm pretty conservative, but uh, not really happy with with either party, honestly. No, no, I know what you're saying. Hey, tell me what watches, what other interesting watches? So you've had how many four watches you've got? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the, yeah, the couple that I watch is the Rolex Tudor, uh, Omega Speedmaster, um, one with a triple. What do you think's enough? Is that enough? Are you happy with that number? Do you want more or less? What, what's the? What's I the need. So got five I, I need a GMT. I, I still need a GMT. I, I still need a, a good GMT, honestly. Rolex yeah. Explorer Two Polar Dial. Maybe, but I, I do I do kind of like uh, turning the bezel though. So the Pepsi, the Pepsi Light. Uh, it's overrated. Maybe the turning Should bezel is overrated. Hey, hey Arch, what, what are your thoughts on seeing a lot of people that have the older uh, aluminum bezels and then they swap them out to go with like you know, Pepsi or or black? Um, Ooh, I hate that because I like to that, keep it original. Don't don't. It's sacrilege. Like, you know, well, the problem is you're going to end up breaking the parts and most people misplace yeah. them and i think keep it original you know you know you know what i mean if you if you if you really want a ceramic one get a ceramic one but don't you find in the long run original ones hold their value better i i that's always the danger like doc likes to do a bit of resto modding but the danger is at the end of the day it's the original ones that are always worth more and you keep taking the bezel off and on it's going to break something's going to break eventually they're not meant yeah. to be taken off continually but yeah. yeah that's kind of my opinion keep it original keep it original that's kind of my so tell me this how many watches is enough for you what do you do for a job i'm a police officer well thank Ooh, you for your service thank you for your service man yeah it's a great, great career. Tell me and, this. And that's actually, um, it, and that's actually one of the things I like about the GMT is everything I record at work is in 24 hour time. Um, but then I also need mm -hmm. to, to be able to time things um, as well. So it is, it is kind of one of the things I like about the Rolex, why I'm kind of been eye on it. But at the same time, Rolex is a little bit, a, a little too pretentious for government work. So oh, you find that. Man, get the Rolex, get the Rolex. Tudor GMT, so yeah. Pepsi. Does cause trouble as, as a work watch? Tudor uh, Pepsi. Maybe. The Tudor Pepsi is pretty thick, though. Sorry? The It's just it's a pretty thick watch. I mean, it's, it's just, it's so bulky. Yes. Yeah, I agree, Bourbon. So, I do, I, I do like the, the 58, though. Two. It's an awesome size. It's a great, Mr. Two, eight bucks. I want to give Drew a run for his money with cars. Post the link, please. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if this is, we should be in Doesn't Mr. Two have an SL? <laughs> yeah, he's yes. got nice cars, man. Yeah, I, yeah I, don't, I don't know how, no chance. I don't know how Drew's 85 BMW is going to handle compared to Mr. Two. I, I got to tell you, this is interesting with this guy here. He's got a nice collection. He's a nice middle-class American happily married mm -hmm. family he's very much like plastic water pump plastic you know he's very the rolex man on him through and through he's a rolex man tell me this was it a hard save to get that c ceramic no date you've got was that a lot of money how did you find that so here here was actually the trick um yeah. it wasn't actually saving the money i'm yeah. my my wife and i actually are are actually dave ramsey fans um, so we actually we, ah, we do budget and we're what actually. What baby step are you on? What baby step are you on? So we're uh, we're we're about to refinance our house um, to try to get down to fifteen year fix, um, and and that'll tie me tie me nicely for retirement. And then we're we're slowly you know trying to scrape together money for kids' college because I got you know my my oldest will be going to college another five years. So. But don't you see? Don't you see? So you got no credit card debt. Yeah, yeah, no credit card debt. No credit card debt. No, no. The only, only debt, only debt is only debt is house, and um, and it, it, the real estate in the sale area is really expensive. So, trying to get, you know, try to get our refi down because I know that, uh, you know, 
I don't know. That's, that's what we're going. Dave Ramsey's a bit boring sometimes. Like there's no. Yeah, fun. he is. He yeah, no, he def definitely is boring. But but here's here's the thing. So it's not. It wasn't yeah. the saving aspect. It was uh, with my wife um, to be able to say like, oh, but hey, I should spend. And and when I bought it, this was actually I've had it for a few years now. Um, whereas I don't, I don't know if I would do it now. Honestly, I, I love it, but. Um, when when I got it, but it's, I, it's I held its it. value. It's been a great investment. Yeah, but I didn't buy it for an investment. I actually bought it uh, with a promotion to kind of celebrate a promotion. And What's at the same the time, I upgraded. And at the same time, we upgraded my wife's uh, wedding ring. And so the amount of money that I spent on my wife's upgraded ring, I was like, well, I should I should get something. And what better what better way to commemorate You're a, getting a, a promotion it's a, it's than with a new rock? Thirty-two. Uh, I'm thirty-seven now. Oh, 37. I got. I think I was thirty-four. I think when I bought it. Well, man, you're Rolex right man thinking. through and through, Pontiff. He, this is this is a Rolex poster child, Jeff. You got to make this, this guy it. an ambassador, Jeff. But I'm I'm kind of a I, I kind of am like a one watch per brand or, or one yeah, yeah one, one, one watch, watch per brand. brand. I, I love that idea. Kinda. I love it. I love it. Ponif, I said that the other day. You said that was a stupid idea. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I can see it working. For, so tell me this. With your, you've got an emergency fund, a fully funded emergency yeah. fund? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you've got, oh, just hang on one minute there. We've got Mr. Oh, Mr. Two. Two. Hey, Mr. Two. Here. <laughs> here. The SL. Look at this. Now that's a car. Mr. Two, we need the sound effects, man. Room, room. Wow. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> At least the watch is out of the boot. <laughs> you dirk, you will come back. I gotta tell you, I really like I really like this new guy here. Mr. Two, we love you, man. This gag is going on a little too long. <laughs> this is getting, my ears are hurting. My ears are hurting. <laughs> Mr. Two, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a Cayman? Is that a Cayman, too? <laughs> I think it's a Cayman. Is it? I think so from the wheels. Those are Cayman wheels. <laughs> nah, it's a 911, damn it. No, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, Birdingham. So, Dave Ramsey, I think he's a bit boring, isn't he, or not? He's too. I don't think you can always listen to everything he's... <laughs> he says. What do you think? He's too. Life is for living, isn't it? yeah yeah it's i mean it's not it's not boring but i, I don't know it's i, I think it's, a, it's, it's for a entertainment purposes so, sometimes it can be too boring but um i, I like the idea of you know, getting like building building wealth over your lifetime um you know i have a lot of friends that try to like get rich quick or you know invest in bitcoin, bitcoin and or then bitcoin. it drops and i mean it's high now so it's like i, I don't i don't understand it so i don't i don't that stuff. No, but, Dave Ramsey um, hates Bitcoin. We hate Bitcoin. Yeah. It, so I've always just beautiful model that beautiful model, Mister Two. Look at that. I love that. I love the cars, man. Look at that. What more could you want in life? Some cars. Cars, Rolex, and a beautiful family. Pond. There you go. That's exactly it. So, um, are you are you a millionaire, Birmingham? Ooh. I don't. I, I don't want to say that online, or <laughs> No. Well, that's okay. You've done well. <clears throat> you have done very well, and that's 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 fantastic news. Ooh, look at that! Very nice, JJ. Would you piece. add more Rolex? Pond, I love Mr. Two, but his audio is really bothering me, Pond. It actually <laughs> kills my ears. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm sorry. Why. That's okay. Jeff, are you hearing that? Yeah, he's muted now. Okay, okay. What do you guys think? I just put everything back in the box. 
Lovely. Put everything in the box. Give us, show us the box. Oh. Is that your Bretling in the top? Yeah, that's the no Bretling. Roll. Oh, those are the diamonds? Let's see the diamonds on it. Don't look at Blinged that. Out. Come on, let's see the diamonds. I want to see it. <laughs> Factory. He's sensitive Factory. about it. Come on, Archie hates this one. I don't want to scare him off. That's not that bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, now that I know you, it kind of, it kind of. That's cool. Know. Vintage, Archie. It tells a story. That was your first one. That's it? very early 2000s. Yep, I was 20 years old when I bought that. 21, maybe. Gee. You thought you were well doing shit with that watch? Yeah. Yeah, yep. I was Marco's age when I bought that watch. Hell yeah. yeah. Z Blue? Oh, cool. right, you need the Z Blue in oh. your life. Ooh, look at that. Pawn. That's a watch right there. Pawn, if you need to get yeah. the Z Blue and Pepsi, baby. I love one. Uh, the, JL, the JJ Lacoot? Wait, Lacoot. show us that movement, JJ, if you can. Uh, I got only Lacoot. one hand here. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I'm yeah. making your life difficult. JJ, JJ needs two okay. hands. All right. I got my baby. Uh, mm. Nice. They're like twins. That's yeah, the one. Like it's the jingly like jangly jubilee. I, I wouldn't I be selling any of this. Jingly jangly. I wouldn't be selling any of this. Now, what about I this gotta one? tell you, you would sell this one, wouldn't you? <laughs> Birdingham, why don't you buy your wife a Rolex? Tell me this. Why don't you buy your wife a Rolex? Good question. She is um, so, so living uh, in the Seattle area. Uh, huge on tech. So almost everyone wears smartwatches. And so she, just on her, her day to day, she would be like an Apple watch person. And if, Hey, that saves me money. So I'm not, I'm not going to push her into it. That's for sure. Are you going to get another mm. Rolex? Got to get another Rolex. Don't you? Maybe I'm, I'm curious to see uh, if they update the Explorer too. Ooh, fine. look at that. That, this, this, is, <laughs> this is for ER. He has a little the fragrance. Tim's got nothing on JJ. JJ, you got a problem, mine. No, I have just a just a few, actually. I do have a problem, Jeff. I smell so good. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the show. My show for today. No worries. Very nice content. I gotta tell you, Fair I enough. like I like interviewing a normal guy. There, I gotta ask you, Birdingham, really. Um, okay, so you got some watches, you got a few things. Any other hobbies? You do a bit of shooting, you got some guns? Yeah, I do a lot, a lot of shooting guns. Um, I, I have four kids, so they, they, yeah. they keep me pretty busy. Yeah, got wow. you. Are you into cars? Not, not sports cars. Um, the, they, I, I mean, I have a, like a Toyota Tundra that has wheels and a, and a, uh, I don't know if you're like familiar with like some of the hard top, yeah, of like a, a diamond a HD Porsche? back you for. Get a Porsche? When are you gonna get a Porsche? Uh, not. I don't know that I would. I'm. Ooh, I'm more. I more didn't recommend. A I'm more of a four wheel drive off road person, honestly. So you need to get a uh, a Land Cruiser. That's what you need to get. Yeah. Ah, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I like being able to just take, I mean, take my you car like out. Finance. You got any car pa No car payments. No. Look at this. No, no, car, no, no car payments. payments. When did not, you not discover Dave Ramsey? Um, I actually, uh, my parents are both actually pretty financially conservative. And so even before Dave Ramsey, um, like as a kid, I mean, I'll, I like reading financial books as a kid. Um, so I was just kind of into it before. Did, Dave Ramsey. Did, have you been to Financial Peace University? I've, so I've read the book. I, I haven't. You, you read I, the I, have, I haven't paid to go through the course, but I've actually I bought a used copy of the book and, and read through it. Um, yeah. So Life I'm, is for I'm, living. But sometimes with Dave Ramsey, it's so much save, 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 and and beans and rice, yeah. beans and rice. It's, we wanna. <laughs> But but I think a lot of what he's what he goes over those is for people to get out of debt. And so my wife and I, even even before I married my wife, um, I convinced her to sell because she was she had a, a car that she was making payments on. And even before we got married, I convinced her to sell it. I was like, hey, just get you something cheaper that, so we're not there's no payments, like no debt. Um, and so I've always been kind of adverse to to taking on debt um, mm. and living be, living below my means. And so anytime we want to do something fun, it's just you know, we're, we're paying for it versus, you know, using debt to, to have fun. So 
Yeah, I, the first several years of, of marriage, it is kind of, you know, you are, you are kind of saving a lot. But then once we both get into our careers, um, then I don't, I don't feel like I'm missing out by not, by not using debt to Would, you don't you know, go on trips or get things. You don't have any credit cards now? I have, so we both have a credit card or just for, for ease of ease of payments, but not one that where we where we pay you know just pay it off at the end of every month basically. What do you reckon, Jeff? You got to live life, roll the dice, Jeff. What do you think, Jeff? Give me some life advice, Jeff. No, I, I think he's got his head screwed on this. This is a really good thing to hear because people, are, you know, he's obviously planned his life. He doesn't want to have it at normal debt, and I think that's that's really good. And um, you know you got to have debt on real estate and things like that, but mm. you know not not for yeah. not for other things. I, I, hey, I you Dave going misses, up? Dave hey, misses you... the point. He says you don't borrow like he, like I think in Australia we've done very well borrowing. The average Aussie has made so much money out of real estate, haven't they, Jeff? Mm -hmm. That's our big yeah. savior is real estate. They they you could never save enough to buy it outright. That 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 that's been the big problem. And um, that's right. I, I got I got to be totally honest with you, man. I think I think um, divorce is a big wealth hazard. Stay married, Birmingham. It is. It is. Stay yep. I'm, married. I, yep. Yep. One one dog, one bone. You know, it's <laughs> and, and there's temptations. It's very easy to get tempted at times. You know? Hey, let, let me ask you guys a question because somebody was talking yes. about this before. How do you feel about um, opportunity costs? Like, if let's say if you put fifty thousand into your watches that you enjoy, and over the course of those five years, you could have turned that fifty into a hundred. You know what I mean? Like, it, uh, to me, I say, but you have to have balance. You got to enjoy some of your money as well. Well, hang on a minute. When you say opportunity cost, right? Right. These people who start saying that, they all sound like Bitcoin losers. Bitcoin losers. <laughs> they come out there. You know what? You could also go to the casino, opportunity cast. I love the way they put it into normal financial speak. It's gambling. It's gambling. It's gambling. Let me tell you this. Putting it into Rolex, it's basically like putting it into a term deposit. Mm. Okay? It's keeping place with, with good interest. <laughs> yeah. It's basically the capital growth. But the truth is, a lot of these things, like opportunity costs, like what? What are you going to put into Bitcoin? Then your hard drive goes down. There are risks <laughs> in everything. Thank risks you. Thank you. I had an Uber driver tell me that once because we were talking about watches. He was like, well, you could have invested that and that would be worth so-and-so now. I was like, that's a gamble. Right. I'm ga you're yeah. gambling with your money. And also, every time you've ever gone out for dinner or gone to a sporting event, you could have invested that too. But like, then you, what's the point of being alive to, to give all well, your money well, to your kids? I mean, if that's you right. want to live the cheap... Look, look, I'll be honest with you, okay? Many years ago, we had a lot of Vietnamese people came to Australia, right? Mm -hmm. And my dad was an accountant and he was he was friend, he had a lot of Vietnamese clients. And, and they did things that not... You know, Caucasians or, 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 or other people wouldn't do. They had a couple families living in one house. Right. They drove a car until it was no longer driving anymore. Like they just, you know, they're standard. Yeah. They never ate out at ex restaurants. They never wasted money. And it depends what you want in life, really. If you buy the cheapest white secondhand Corolla, you have beans and rice for every meal, you will end up with big sack of moolah, right? right. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Burbing a question? Sure, ask him, ask him. Burbing, can I ask you, I know Seattle was pretty rough back in the summer. Has it gotten better since then? At least for... So, for... so I I live in the burbs of okay. Seattle. So I don't, I don't live downtown. Um, I do have some friends that live downtown, and it's really... Um, the media, I think, is so deceptive in how to cover some things. So even in Seattle, it's like, yeah, there's a, a small section on some areas like Capitol Hill, where there's like some downtown districts that are bad. And there's other Seattle neighborhoods that nothing happened, you know. And so it really is just dependent on, on where you're at. Um, I do have one friend that lived right outside of what, what called the, the Chaz Zone, I guess. Um, and and he, he was pretty upset about it just because... Of, kind of the violence and, and mayhem that was happening. Um, 
other than that, I think life kind of kind of mostly went on, and and especially in this region because it's very heavy in the tech industry. Um, a lot of people were able to work from home, so it didn't affect us nearly as much as it did a lot of other parts of the world. Cool, cool. I just want to answer, JJ. I want to come back to JJ. Opportunity cost. You know, you talk about like it. I actually have a bigger opportunity cost. I constantly. I don't look at what I could have invested it in. Right. Right. <clears throat> I got to be totally honest with you. I actually put some money into the stock market in the middle of COVID because prices were so low. Mm -hmm. When I say I put a bit of money, I put 20 Aussie, okay? Right. And that turned into 27. That was okay? mm -hmm. good return. And how much time, Paul? And how well, much the thing is, if I still had that money invested, it'd be in the 30s yeah, now. <laughs> but I got cold feet of the market. I got cold feet. I thought, ooh, this is not where I want to be. Right. <laughs> Nothing wrong I with taking out. a profit, though, you know? You'll never know where the top Take is. Take a profit. And I, I paid out some consumer debts. Hey, can I tell you something? If, if my... So, if they, all right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go on. Go no, on, no, go, I thought... Go, go, go. If, if my Bitcoin goes to a hundred thousand, like they say, I'm buying a couple of Pateks. I don't care. <laughs> you know why? Because life is short. I don't care about Bitcoin. I want Patek Philippe in my life. Get Rolex, man. JJ. Yeah. Yeah. Through through through. Got 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 enjoy Rolex. yourself. Yeah, I've got I, gotta, I gotta tell you, I kind of the bigger thing for me, pre COVID. Car prices in Australia are ridiculous compared to America, but they were actually, you could haggle and there were massive discounts, right? Mm -hmm. I sometimes look at my collection and say, you know, I could have had a, a third hand Porsche or a nice, you got nice a car, car. a Lexus. Because I love card. Here we go. Mark P, five pounds. Life is a gamble. You have to balance investments versus living and having fun. You have one life, so live it to the full. That's right. Very true. Very true. Look at, look at, look at poor Rich Buddy's cousin, man. I mean, any day yeah. now, you, you could be in, in, you know, jammed up. You got to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Arch? Friday night. Some, Nobody got you a drink. Somebody get the pawn up a drink, man. It's Friday. I'm drinking soda waters today. I'm, I'm, I've been Somebody drinking a little bit of away. I think the alcohol is affecting Let's me. Get I'm going to tell you this. Let me <laughs> tell you this. Let me tell you this. It's a bit like you know investing in that there. Did you hear the story? This is a multi-level marketing joke. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear the story of the couple who were in Amway, but they were both virgins? What happened? They hadn't done it yet, but it was gonna be great. Mm. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hadn't done that yet. And I, and I gotta tell you, I got to, sometimes in life, I think you have to have some rewards. You know, you know what I mean? You have to, you know, you know, Archie, you have to invest in yourself. Okay. Okay. I think that, that's the key. <laughs> here we go, Super Chats. We've got you Super know? Chats are flying in fast here. Mark P. Fast here we go. Yeah. And Mr. Two's on again. We're done, Mark P. And then Kermit the Frog, $5. Officer, would you let someone off a speeding ticket for wearing a Rolex drink and drive, Pontiff? <laughs> well, ooh, that's a good question. In the house. You know, oh. no, I, if I, I, I can't. I, I, I can't um, I can't speak in any capacity. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, there you go. As close as I will get to an SL. That car looks good on you, Arch. It looks good on you. That rules. Cool. That's amazing. <laughs> Mr. Two. Do you do you come across Mr. Burbing Howard? Do you come across many Rolexes in your daily at, at your work environment? <laughs> oh my God, bro! <laughs> Is the Hulk in the trunk still? <laughs> do you come across Rolexes in your day-to-day -day life? Um, yeah, a little bit. I've seen um, actually last week I saw um, some with a, a Panerai uh, Luminor. Um, so a little bit, but. Like I said, just being in the Seattle area, it's a lot of tech. So it's, it's so many like Apple watches or 
like Fitbits and smart devices on people's wrists. Is that Mimi T? Tim is, Tim is dying right now. Tim is dying right now. I'm not doing nothing. What do you think I do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god dude. I'm not one second. I just look after you because you're hungry in the street. Oh my god. Oh, this is great. Oh my god. Michael That's amazing. M. Michael M. That's amazing. Shama Sawant is a socialist uh, council member in Seattle. Uh, Jay Wright, two dollars, I give you juice, I give you shower. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking about what you said, Arch, and if you don't reward yourself with uh, some gifts, then you lose oh. your drive. You lose your drive. You know what I mean? Ooh. You have to reward yeah. yourself with a gift here and there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know what? Uh... One of the best pieces of advice I got for uh, financial investing when I was really young is um, if you – if you do so, so in in the U.S. and I don't know if Australia, you're able to do the same thing. When you get a paycheck, um, you can have deductions prior to actually getting your check. Yes. So if you get however much amount, like you can allocate fifteen percent, uh, sometimes like a pre-tax, so it would come out and so it never even hit yes. your bank account. Like it just automatically takes it off the top, so that you're not having yep. to to do anything. It's just it's automatically invested on a right. dollar cost average basis every month or every two weeks um, right. over a long period that, of time. And then when you get, you can, you know, kind of, that's what they know, call, that way. that's what they call pay yourself first. That's pay, pay yourself yep. first. Yeah. That's a very, yep. the problem is look, the, the, the hard bit is if you're on minimum wage at Walmart and you've got right. three screaming oh, yeah. kids, it's very hard <laughs> to do that. You know, it, it's yep. kind of, mm. uh, Right. Um, it, 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 look, look, I kind of, I kind of understand. Here we go, Stephen K. Two dollars. Why do, why you do me this way, <laughs> Nana Kim? There we go. But I gotta say, man, you're living a good life. You, uh, you got a house. You've got some investments. Does your wife work? She works uh, very part time. So she's, uh, she's a registered nurse. Uh, but we have young kids in school, so she. She does uh, school school nursing three days a week. Big so bucks, big bucks, big bucks. They, yeah, more more so if she, if she wasn't in the school system. Um, but she only does like eighteen hours a week until until kids get a little bit older and she'll be able to go back a little more time. Yes, that's that's great. Well, that's that's um, look, you guys have got everything worked out. Another Rolex? Tell me another Rolex. I, I hope so. Get an explorer. Yeah, I, Explore I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'll, Do you I'll see get anything wrong Marco. with hiding your purchases from your wife? Uh, no, we're no. She's 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 pretty. She's okay with it. it I I could be into much worse hobbies. So, right, right. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Could be, could be uh, betting the ponies. Yes. Mm. I there are worse JJ, do you get jealous when you see a guy like Birding Hard there, very fit, dapper, Ooh. young man with? He's no, the child for the Republicans. Everything, I you know. know. Listen, I, I believe in abundance, Arch. Just because someone else is doing well and looks good, it doesn't take anything away from me. I, you know, there's more than enough for everyone to go around. The God bless. I hope everybody makes a lot of money. Especially uh, so AJ sounds like a Bernie supporter. No, let's come on. He always back to the to the power. <laughs> JJ, I gotta tell you, JJ, 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 yes. JJ, one divorce could clean out Birding Hard very quickly. Oh yeah. yes, it would, it would hurt. Yeah. It would hurt. It's gotta yeah. hurt, man. Super chat, pawn. That's deep. why I've always, you know, my watches are my side assets. You need a few side yeah. assets that are. Mm -hmm. you know, Those are your I side chicks. You. Burning Hard, you go, gotta Mr. build up that collection. Us. That's actual CCTV footage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh 
<laughs> it's uh, I gotta tell you, Tim, 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 Tim. Yeah. You should. You should. Would you? Would you? Would you relocate? Tell me this, Birmingham. Yeah. If you were relocating, you want us to have a nice, easy life in a low cost mm. state. Where would you go, Birmingham? Oh, that's a really tough one. I I I really like uh, how green. Seattle's expensive. That's the problem with Seattle. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Very see, expensive. I, I like the house prices in in Flint, Michigan. Texas. You know where I'm going to move? Oh, <laughs> you don't want to go to Flint. Good. Why would you want to go to Flint, Michigan, Archie? The water quality is not real good, I hear. <laughs> yeah, they privatized yeah, water over there. It's, know, le- it's full of lead. Leaded. That's why it's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> where would you go in America? Like, like you, Oh, Florida. Seattle, you, so you know where? where? Florida. You know where all Bernie supporters are going? They're going to Texas. They're yeah, going Texas to flip that the, state blue. Yeah, Texas is the new uh, the new place to be right now. Yes. Short yeah. California, so now they got to destroy. Joe Rogan, everybody's yeah. moving there. Yeah, that's that's what that's what communists do. What they destroy Vegas? where they live, and then they move Vegas? somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Nevada, yeah. Nevada's a good one too, Archie. Yeah. Nevada's a good one too. Parasites, low, low taxes, and you're off the strip. But a lot of parts of Las Vegas, away from the strip, are pretty pretty rough areas. Are they? Is it yeah. Class in Vegas. I mean, I. Have you been off the strip before? Have you gone to Vegas before? I've never been to America. Oh. I've got a friend who's got a house in, in America. Vegas. He, in America, yeah, yeah he's, he said it's very, <laughs> very, very middle class. He's got a middle class mm. home. I guess certain parts. I mean, anytime I've been off the strip, it's been I've seen it, it's been pretty dodgy around there. Right. Okay. Oh. But there's some nice areas there too. There's some like yeah. you know, multi-million dollar homes not far. Oh, from. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got Graham Stephan who just bought one, right? In Vegas. Right. Yeah, Graham Him. Stephan. Yeah, and uh, what's his name? Um, Jeremy. Jeremy Finance. Oh, yeah. Sorry. He he put 1% of his wealth into Bitcoin. Did you see that? Yes. He won't tell you how much he put in, but he's a bit slimy like that. (laughs) Sure, it's got to be under a million, probably a couple hundred thousand, I would bet. I don't know how rich he really is. I think his ego's. It's. I don't know. Hi, Super Steel 75, five bucks. Hi from Darwin. Best team of guys. Awesome chat. Thank you. Thank you, Super Thank Steel. You. Thank you. Thanks, mate. And Mr. Two, <laughs> five bucks. I may also have CC footage with Dog <laughs> Catcher and Bearded Lady. It involves Joe Exotic. Just to <laughs> find where I can put it up. We'll ask Craig. Love it. Hey, Tanzil. <laughs> Tanzil, $10. Here we go. With so AC3 hey. with the 5711 discontinue. What's your thoughts? I haven't seen an Archie Explodes video on any of your channels about it. How did the large Puerto Rican get to the big scoop before you? I'm just. I've been meaning to ask things. about that. So what? What do you guys think about that? The 5711 yeah, is just. Well, they'll bring out a new model, won't they? Yeah. They're gonna update the movement pawn. 5713. Get, get ready. Which one? And they're gonna update the class. I'm pretty sure. And apparently they said the size, but the size would surprise. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be quarter million dollar watch soon. You think so? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. For a steel watch, that's crazy. Uh, Paddock is just trying to, you know, uh, outdo Rolex before Rolex catches up to them. Smart move, you know. Hmm. Hey, Hi, Arch. That's it. Yes. I've got to go, mate, so I'll catch up with you later. Hey, All the best guys. Hi, Jeff. Jeff, good to see you. Hi, Jeff. See, Thank see you. Say hi Thank to you. all the nice Rolex employees from us. Yeah, I'll mm-hmm. pass it on to you. No worries. See you later, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go, guys. i got to tell you guys, opportunity cost. It's all opportunity cost there. Um, look, JJ. Yes. I sometimes look at the watch collection and say, you know, you could have a really nice car. Right. Mm-hmm. He's got a nice car, Pona. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't put it in the garage. He's got a nice car already. He does. He's got a very nice car. Good point. Yeah. I don't but have I mean, a car. you could buy a supercar, JJ. For your watches, you could get you could get a, a Porsche, something like that. Right, right. But I just I, I prefer to have. I mean, you know, a regular nice car. You know what I mean? It's not. I know it's better than a re, like a regular normal your car. Your car's but, amazing. JJ. Right, but I don't need. A, I'm saying I don't need a two hundred thousand dollar. Supercar or a hundred fifty thousand dollars supercar. I'd rather I'd, I appreciate the watches more. You know, I enjoy them more. Mm-hmm. 
Ford and Possess. Ex- Ford and Possess. Ex- exactly, right. it exactly it there. Yes, sir. I don't, Guys, I'm going to wrap this up. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be live yeah. on the channel tomorrow. Thank you for coming in. And uh, Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Thanks for having Great. me, Arch. You're welcome. Come on, on man. Someone. Come on. Check out my new video. Up.